Before we get started, I just want to warn viewers that there is some explicit language used in this video. I do apologize in advance. So for you younger, for those of you with younger listeners around or anything like that, if you have virgin ears, I'm just putting that warning out there in advance. Thank you and enjoy the content. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. I was on my way home from work uh, the other day and I was listening to this story that come on the radio and they were talking about how kids as young as two and three years old were getting the option to choose their gender because they say that often that's the age when they start to express um, gender dysphoric behaviors and they start to um, choose their identity, right? That's essentially what they're saying. And uh, I just, it, it made me recall something and I'll, I'll, we'll get into that here. But I think that there, this is linked to something a little bit more nefarious here, right? We're, we're children too, as if children aren't already being bombarded with, you know, crazy things. We have, you know, social media and violence, sexually loaded uh, content, narcissism. I mean, all this is is stacked against the the youth of today. And now, when you're introducing these kinds of narratives, right, boy or girl, parents raising they babies, let kids decide. You know, kids are confused enough uh, at this age, let alone introducing something, this this rather foreign concept. It's a newer concept being introduced to our society, okay? But I think that this transgender, gender fluidity, gender dysphoric ties into something much more nefarious, okay? Because we've already seen instances of this being taken to the next level, right? Where men can decide suddenly they're women, like we saw in the GameStop here. You're gonna give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. And you're watching I told him, like, Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am. Once again, ma'am. I said both of you. So, th you know, this person goes off in this GameStop because he was misgendered and we see instances like this on the rise. But not only this, not only can you be transgender now, you can also be trans age. OK, yes, this is a real thing. Leave. So that to me, stopping trans isn't something I could do. It'd be like telling me to stop being, you know, six foot two and or leave and I was who I was I was trans before now I'll leave links in the description below, but yes, trans aged is a thing. Um, in this instance, it was a 47 or 52 year old man who was married for over eight years and had six children. And he decided he wanted to be a six year old girl. I mean, he has adoptive parents and a little sister, but isn't it, doesn't it get interesting when this uh, 52 year old man who decides to be six year old, what if he wants a boyfriend? What if he wants a girlfriend? What age? group now does he get to what age pool does he get to choose from now you see what i mean uh and and not only not this isn't the only gentleman who decided to be trans age we've seen other instances right this gentleman here everybody needs a bottle in the morning right everybody but needs a bottle in the morning coffee i have my juice this is this is hey, real Eddie, stuff Eddie. And you know, this isn't just outliers. If you've heard of ponying, if you've heard of other things, this is this is real stuff that's going on. And we have real initiatives happening in the United States, I, I, not only to dumb the population down, but also to curtail the population, okay? The United States birth rate has declined, okay? And we also have, um, they're, they're killing our children, right? 40 to 50 million abortions a year, uh, approximately 125,000 abortions a day. Uh, this is genocide. You know what I mean? It, it's absolutely crazy what we see happening in the United States with, with people going, you know, transgender, trans age, uh, marriage as a declining commitment, um, birth rates on the decline. You have to wonder if there isn't some concerted agenda here uh, to decrease the U.S. population, not the, just the U.S. population, but populations around the world. You know, Japan's having intimacy problems. Uh, anywhere else, we just bomb and blow them up uh, as part of that uh, initiative and, and routine. And, and the population is so, you know, dumbed down, right? We have, we have fluoride in our water. Oh, fluoride's good for you. Really? You know, it used to be used to kill rats, and it was used as a insecticide to kill poultry lice in the 20s. All right. And if you go to your toothpaste, here I am at just oh, walgreens.com and I turn over the back of your toothpaste. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or 
contact a poison control center right away, right? And this isn't the type of stuff that just kills you out, right? Um, cigarettes don't kill you out, right? Okay, alcohol doesn't kill you out, right? Neither of those do that, but it's continued consumption gets you just sick enough to slowly milk you of your money with our for-profit medical systems, which by the way, is the third leading cause of death in America. So when you, and, and it's not just, you know, fluoride, we have GMO foods and foods with ingredients in it that PhDs would have difficulty uh, pronouncing, air filled with harmful nanoparticles. I mean, that's food, water, air, medicine. We're four for four here, you know what I mean? And with initiatives like this, where we have um, individuals who feel so self-righteous because they aren't being characterized as the gender and we're so bigoted because we're not um, adopting this this new age science and these new age beliefs. You know, we're the bigots. 52-year-old um, man decides he wants to, to be a six-year-old girl. No problem. You're the bigot if you don't understand that, okay? Um, I don't know how old this gentleman is. He wants to live as a baby. No problem. You're a bigot if you don't understand this, okay? And we're endorsing these lines of thinking. And not only that, you know... <laughs> If that was just left on its own, you know, maybe it would just die out. But when you have, you know, political and legislative initiatives trying to force this stuff on the people where we have to uh, make sure we pro use the right pronoun for some individual, we could lose our job, we could go to jail. Uh, I think we're starting to, to cross into very dangerous territory. And if, if you don't see how this transgender, trans age thing can easily lead into something like pedophilia because it just starts to bring up some very strange and interesting questions what happens when this 52 year old man who's a six-year-old girl now decides he wants a boyfriend or girlfriend it starts to enter some really strange territories i would just put that out there um that once you open the door you know it's like pringles once you pop the fun don't stop and uh, it just it's going to get more wilder and more strange if we aren't careful uh i guess i'll just leave it there california carter signing off Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize now.